See, we spoke about the present of presence last week, taking action now, but now we need to speak about having a vision that we're taking action now toward. That's the importance of goal scoring. So let me tell you a quick story. All right, so I remember one time when I was about 15 years old and I was on a football pitch. I had the ball at my feet. Coach, coach, he's standing to the side and coach said to me, look, you got five minutes to dribble the ball from this side of the pitch to that side of the pitch and score in the goal. It's simple, it's straightforward. No one's on the pitch but me. I'm the only one on the pitch with the ball at my feet. But down the sideline of the pitch, there are people standing there watching. What do you call people standing there watching? You call them spectators, of course. So there were spectators down the each sideline of the pitch. So coach said to me, go. So I began running, dribbling with the ball, doing a couple skills, you know, as you do. Someone shouted out, what's the point? I ignored it, I carried on. Someone else shouted out, look, it's pointless. Someone else shouted out, someone else shouted out. And before long, I'm hearing all these negative statements. So I looked up and at the exact point I looked up, I've seen a familiar face, you know, someone that I know, he's from around the way, like, you know, I, I recognise his face. So I paused, I left the ball, and I went over there to see what he was saying, but just as I got there, before I even opened my mouth to ask him the question, just as I got there, I felt something come flying into the back of my head. So, of course, naturally, I've turned around, I've looked at the floor, and I've seen an apple core there. Someone threw an apple core from the opposite sideline from the opposite sideline. So of course I've looked over there and you know, this guy is pointing at me laughing. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna go and see what he's saying. So I went over there, but just as I got there, I've made my way from one side to the other side now, you know, but just as I got there, something else came flying into my back this time. I looked, I turned around on the floor, I looked and I saw a raw egg. Somebody had thrown a raw egg, once again from the opposite sideline. So what do I do? This person now is openly claiming responsibility, like what, it was me, you know. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to head back over there. So I went back over there and just as I got over there, what happened? <laughs> on and on the story continues. You see, that story is endless. Now, let me tell you something. Obviously, the details of this story are not true in that sense. But in a certain sense, they're happening to us every day. Picture it like this. The football pitch is like the playing field of life. That's where the game is. The apple cores and the eggs are the doubts and the criticism that people throw at you when you're in the game, on the playing field. The goal, the goal is the vision. <laughs> and the spectators are still the spectators. You see, sometimes you're going to have to go through some challenges along the way to your goal. And some of those challenges are going to come from people that are close to you. Some of them are going to come from people that are far away from you. Some of the people that you thought would be in your corner are the very people that are going to doubt you and tell you, nah, it's not worth it. Stop. Don't. It's pointless. And all the things that the spectators were shouting out, you're going to hear that. But you have to be resilient enough and focused enough on your goal, on the vision to the point where you don't run back and forward from sideline to sideline challenging spectators for ego's sake. Let them talk, you stay focused. The only one stopping you is you. Self-worth before net worth, be yourself to know yourself. This is more than motivation. <laughs>